Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. I am your host, Rigo, and today I got a very special video for you guys. However, Florida weather had other plans. A thunderstorm just finished passing by. So I'm gonna risk it a little bit and I'm gonna go out there even though there's some lightning falling down, some lightning strikes and everything all around the house. So I'm gonna go and I gotta verify Hardy Chicago and Red Lebanese BV. I feel these two figs are very similar so I'm gonna put them next to each other and I'm gonna split them open and I'm gonna show you the leaves. The leaves are different and stuff but the figs look very similar and I want you guys to tell me if they are indeed different, if you have them, comment down below. Let me know if they are different. I'm still new, so my taste buds are like all over the place. Almost everything tastes the same to me. However, I also got a whole bunch of other fakes that I gotta go and pick. So I'm gonna go out there and risk my life for you guys. All right, guys, so I am inside the house and I gotta show you this fix. I mean, now that I'm looking at them, I guess, because it's throwing newer fakes, so they are kind of changing and stuff, so they actually might be different. They're starting to look a little different to me now, is what I should say. I've always compared them to taste the same, however. On the database, on the fakedatabase.com website, you're gonna see that I have Red Lebanese BV and all the way on the bottom of the page it's gonna say similar figs and I have Hardy Chicago on there. Vice versa with the Hardy Chicago I have Red Lebanese BV as one of those similar figs because they do kind of look alike inside. Leaves look kind of the same and taste wise to me they're pretty much the same. However you got your own opinion you can comment down below and say whatever you want. I'm here to learn. I'm here to take criticism and learn from it so it doesn't matter what you say. So let me show you what they look like. So on this side right here I have Red Lebanese BV and as you could see it's a very pretty fig. This is the most ripe one I have on there right now. I had to go out and pick them because it was still drizzling and stuff and there was still a lot of lightning going on there. This is the bottom. So this is what Red Lebanese BV looks like. On the other hand, this is Hardy Chicago. Do you see any similarities? The leaves are definitely a lot larger, um, but I guess that could change with any fig variety. And you know, you can see some nice little stripes, stripe looking uh, or ribs on the figs. Some of these were not fully ripened. I believe this is the one that's ripened the most. But as you can see, there's a lot of similarities. This uh, Hardy Chicago's are a little bit more flat, I guess I could say. The eye is more open compared to Red Lebanese BV. But if you put both of them together, if I grab this Hardy Chicago and I put it right next to this one, could you guys see the similarities on this figs? Hardy Chicago on the left, Red Lebanese on the right. Now I'm gonna cut them open so you guys can see the inside. They're both great tasting figs. I like both of them. I will keep both of them simply because they are both very, um, very productive. Uh, I mean, you just saw me going out there and I still left a whole bunch of the Hardy Chicago's on there. And I left some of the Red Lebanese BV on the tree. The Red Lebanese actually feels a little softer, a little bit more ripe. As you can see the eye, four, Party Chicago, it's wide open, and the I for Red Lebanese BV. I'm gonna cut them open actually this way. I've noticed that people cut them this way and they actually look really good. Party Chicago. Red Lebanese. You see, Red Lebanese is nice and juicy. 
it's jammy. Party Chicago, on the other hand, needed maybe another day or so, but it's still very ripe. So, they're both great figs. All right, so now it's time to taste and compare Red Lebanese BV with Hardy Chicago. Red Lebanese BV. Ta-da! It's really good. Not a lot of sweetness in this one, actually. I wish it was a little bit more sweet. Definitely a lot of berry taste to it. Very smooth, a little bit jammy. Very light seed crunch, if any. That was really good. Now it's gonna be Hardy Chicago. Now this one is super ripe. My daughter is looking at me because she's not gonna get to taste this one because this is the really ripe one we got. The other ones are less ripened than this one and this one is like super ripe it's actually melting in my on my fingers look at that guys mm. here we go they do taste different Hardy Chicago actually has a lot more sweetness to it It's really good but I'm gonna be nice I got the butt over here or the head and I'm gonna give that one to Araya the ripe hearty Chicago that one is super sweet hold on hold on Jay, thanks. that smells good all right go ahead eat it what kind of bite is that you don't like the skin on face you can't eat figs they say that not eating the skin is a sin here you go have the head for the red so Lebanese sweet. BV. It's Super good. sweet. The other one is not that sweet though. It's a little bit less sweet, but it's just as good. Hardy Chicago wins on this one, huh? Mm -hmm. Hardy Super Chicago ripe. Really good. It's always good to us. Mm -hmm. and look how many I got. All right, guys, so that is it for today. I just wanted to review these two fakes, compare them side by side. Hardy Chicago wins for me. Red Lebanese is not that far behind. Actually tastes very good. Just I wish it had a little bit more sweetness. If you own these varieties or you've experienced both of them or you've compared them or whatnot, comment down below and let me know what you think. If you have any questions, just ask and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. So with that said, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy some face with Jen, Javanese, Araya, and my son Rigo. And like I always say, I love you and I'll see you next I got the biggest pizza, oh I God, got the biggest pizza.